I'm going to be uh, talking about The Armadillo in Armadillo by Lynn Cherry. And uh, this book starts out with an image of Texas, like the geography of Texas, and it's just uh, the armadillos in like the little corner, and uh, he's looking over the entire state of Texas so the kids can kind of get a sense of where the book is, uh, is placed, where they're trying to talk about. And also along throughout the book, there is uh, postcards in the bottom corners that say where the armadillo is at the time, and that can help the students put the image with uh, where it is on the map. So there is one example where uh, the mouse was at, uh, or the armadillo was at the Enchanted Rock, and the postcard said that it was between San Antonio and uh, Austin, and kids might not know that or know where those are at all. So I might have to show them on the map where San Antonio and Austin are, and then they can kind of get a sense of where the Enchanted Rock would be in between. But I thought it was cool that the postcards were uh, on every page to show you where you are at that point in the book and a uh, majority of it is spent in texas but the armadillo actually meets uh the golden eagle because he wants to see more throughout the entire book he always wants more he wants to see more he wants to go see different areas he's walking through prairies but now he wants to get a bird's eye view so he joins up with the golden eagle and jumps on his back and they go flying around texas so they're flying over prairies and they're looking over at Armarillo and the armadillo asks, uh, what is that place? And it, uh, the eagle replies that it's Armarillo, a city in Texas. That is where they reside. That is where they live. And Armarillo uh, means yellow and the prairies are all yellow and brown. So that's where the name came from because the surrounding area is all prairies and yellow and brown. So the armadillo is learning information throughout uh, the story from the eagle who gets the bird's eye view and has seen it all before. And even though he saw Armadillo, he's, the uh, Armadillo still wants to see more. So he says, can we go higher and higher to see uh, the entire state of Texas or maybe even New Mexico? So then they keep climbing higher and uh, they're looking over the entire state of Texas. And then he realizes he can see New Mexico, but he's not uh, satisfied with just seeing the state of Texas or New Mexico. He wants to see more. He wants to see the entire world. So the Eagle has a plan that he is going to catch a ride with a NASA rocket ship that is being, uh, that is taken from Cape Canaveral and, uh, Florida. So they do that and then they get all the way up into space and the image in the book is pretty cool. It shows the entire earth and the Eagle and the Armadillo sitting there looking over the entire earth and the Armadillo, when he gets to every place, asks, where are we? Where, where am I? Which, uh, I think that'll help with the students because it engages them to listen after that point. When the armadillo says, or when I read to them, where are we now? They start listening and they're ready for me to say in the next part of the book where they are. And the golden eagle is usually the one telling them that. So he says that we are in space, we are above all looking over the entire earth. And then even after he saw the entire earth, he's still not satisfied. So they end up keep they keep going with the, the ship and they get to the moon. And now they're looking over the moon and he says he sees craters and everything like that. And uh, so it's just a bigger picture. They keep uh, there's always more. There's always more to see, even though I feel like you could relate it to if you're stuck in one area and you think it's it's great and all and things like that. But there is more out there to see. There's more beauty in the world that you can go view. And uh, you just have to sort of strive for it and maybe ask questions because I, I think what this book would help students uh, understand is that questions help. You need to ask questions in order to get the things you want or the answers you want because the armadillo throughout the entire book was asking questions nonstop. Every time you went somewhere, where am I? What is this place? Why is it here? And just uh, examples like that. An activity I might do with my kids is uh, with the postcards that are in the bottom. So I might have them look at the postcards, like I said, about the Enchanted Rock that is uh, located in between San Antonio and Austin. And I might pull down a, a map or put a map up on the screen. Or I could even put them in groups with a map and have them all work together to do it and see if they could find the Enchanted map, uh, Rock on the map. And uh, this will go with, along with... It'll, it can be a literature lesson from the book and then a geography lesson because they have to look over the map and search. They have to first find Texas, then they have to find San Antonio and Austin, and then they have to locate the center point of those two uh, places to see if they can find uh, the location. I thought this would be a good hands-on activity, and it would also get them to see some of the geography of the United States in a sense, maybe just the, the state Texas, but um, I thought that would help them a lot because... 
I feel like a lot nowadays a lot of kids don't look at maps and they don't even know how to find places on maps because you can just pull it up on your phone super easy. So it'd be cool to uh, make them do hands on and have to actually think and figure out like different parts of the map. And so the standards I have to go with this are uh, standard three geography. Students will use a variety of intellectual skills to demonstrate their understanding of the geography of the interdependent world in which we live, local, national, and global, including the distribution of people, places, and environments over the Earth's surface. And also I have a uh, craft and structure, PKR4, exhibit an interest in learning new vocabulary. Even though there wasn't really new vocabulary words, I guess you could say, were, that were in this book. There was uh, locations in different parts of Texas that they learned, so I thought that could go along with it too, like the city of Armorillo and uh, the prairie around it, Armorillo meaning yellow. So now that they, they know that, they know why it was named that, and the prairies are the brownish yellow color around. And uh, yeah, thank you.